Welcome back to episode five of our introduction to science series here at Beyond. Today, we're going to be looking at physics and your investigation skills. Today, we'll learn how to state key variables in a physics investigation. We'll learn how to carry out a physics investigation safely and how to write a conclusion based on our results. There are many topics that come under physics. Some examples are electricity, energy, space, waves, static, and forces. Now it's time for a physics investigation. Our aim is to find out, do marshmallows and hot chocolate keep it warmer? Let's think about the variables first. So we have an independent variable. That's something that we can change. In this investigation, it's whether we have marshmallows or not. We have the dependent variable. This is what we can measure. Today, we're going to be looking at the temperature of the hot chocolate. Finally, we have the control variables. That's what we need to keep the same. In this investigation, that would be the amount of hot chocolate, i.e. one teaspoon, the amount of hot water, the starting temperature of the hot water, and the length of time that we measure the temperature for. So, do you think that the marshmallows are going to keep the hot chocolate warmer? Well, it's time to put on your safety goggles, tie back your hair, and let's see for ourselves. So, we're going to start with two mugs exactly the same size. We've got our hot water, our hot chocolate, our marshmallows, and our weighing scales. So, the first thing we're going to do is put one spoonful of hot chocolate in each mug for exactly the same weight. One, two. Now we need to put an equal amount of boiling water into each cup. And now we need to add our marshmallows. Now we're going to place a thermometer into each, wait one minute until we get our starting temperature, and then measure the temperature each 30 seconds for five minutes. Now it's time to take our results and record them in our results table. You can access these at the link below. Now that we've completed our investigation, what was your result? For me, I found that the hot chocolate with marshmallows inside stayed warmer for longer. This is because the marshmallows have melted, created a sort of lid and kept the heat inside. Did you get the same result? So today we've learned how to investigate how marshmallows affect heat loss in hot chocolate. You can now state key variables carry out a physics experiment, and write a conclusion based on your data. Thanks for watching. Our final episode is coming up soon and we'll be looking at how to make a flare. So don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you then. Bye.